So last time, um, we basically started with me in this sort of position. Yeah, so very folded up right arm. So for, this for viewers up here, so this is very full. This angle is here very sharp. In this between arm? right bicep and right forearm, yep. So if you're wider, your hands will be pushed more towards the camera. You so basically said to me, like, get it as far up exactly. this way as Exactly, so I the can. projector, so there's a much wider angle here, which is great. I like that, and that helps you get your hands deeper as well because your arms are not so folded, exactly. So I did some work on that in the last week since we did the first lesson. Uh -huh. um, I'm sure I'll probably still need to focus on it for this lesson, but sure. maybe we just see how that is and then we can move on. Sure, yeah, yeah. let me watch a couple and then let's see what we, have to, what we can do to keep adding to the picture. Okay. So rehearsal here. Yeah, yeah, big turn, big stretch towards the projector. Pretty good, pretty good. Still got it. That's okay. Still got it. Let me just, yeah, let me take a couple videos and then let's see what we'll add next. Really good, really good. Feels less uncomfortable now this week. That's great. Like I'm obviously still like I'm thinking of it consciously, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but it doesn't feel like <laughs> the first time we did it, I was almost yeah. like, like I was lifting a weight to try to do it. Good, good turn there. Yeah, we can definitely add the next piece. Let me let me just take one from face on so I can show you what sure. we need to work on next. Good. Okay, good. So things that are really good here, Matt. So you've done a great job in keeping the width, keeping the depth. So all that's actually really good. Like it's actually like pretty much bang on. Wrist structure, like that, yeah. wrist structure, good left wrist flat, right wrist bent, which is good. Um, and then arms good. You're wide, you're deep, perfect. Okay. Um, just to note when you set up your your arms and your club, kind of create like a capitalized Y. Okay. I want it to be more of a lowercase Y. So your shot. I want your hands to be just slightly more in front. Okay. So, so I'm, there's a I'm leaning the shot correct. Backwards. Yeah. So you can see your left wrist is actually a little cupped there. You see that? Yes. I want a straight line from your left shoulder, so your lead shoulder down your arm, down the hand, down the club first. Gotcha. But you don't have that right now. Gotcha. So you want more of this sort of feel? Exactly. Yep. Exactly. So this way. That's better. Yep. Hold it right there. Push your hands just a little bit more in front. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. So now, when you do that, I want you to lean your upper body away from the target a bit, and then push your hips towards the target a bit. So hip bump, perfect, good, good, good. All right, relax, watch this. So before, when you set up, what, so because your hands are less forward, that actually didn't make the upper body, lower body look as bad, okay? Gotcha. But once you start it, so watch this. So once you're here, this is the old position, hands back, I ask you to push the hands forward, but you see how now it really highlights how your upper body is actually more closer to the target than your lower body is. You see that? So I was leaning into the Your upper target. body was leaning towards your target a bit, yes. Mm -hmm. And then so I asked you to lean your upper body away from the target a bit. So you see how you're more centered now? It's a good little setup cleanup first. Yep. Okay, so first thing. So, it's still, so if you go through a checklist, is a shaft lean. Okay. And then upper body lean and a slight hip on perfect, yes. And then make that, so yeah, let's just hit some. Sure. Feeling the exact same thing from before. Max turn, max stretch the projector. Really Whoa. good. All of a sudden made really good That content. sounded really good. <laughs> so that setup being Holy kind shit, of- that's 163 carry. Yeah, I hit that really solid. Yeah. So that kind of a setup where I get quite sloppy, am I potentially putting myself like in bad positions into the backswing? Like totally, sort of totally, yeah, totally. So that's a good there? question. So actually what you did there was with the upper body being in front of the lower body is yeah. a very common thing. Right. So when that happens, typically people do the opposite in the downs that they back up. Oh, okay, that's a really good point. So you're saying basically if I'm, I started kind of like this. Uh-huh. Like this, yes, right? Yes, yes. So in, in um, downswing, I would end up doing this. Correct, correct. Makes a lot of so, sense. So, but for you, you didn't do that that bad because you actually tried to negate it by having your butt push towards the target more in the backswing. Gotcha. Because it was farther from the target. But in any case, I'm making compensation. Correct. All over exactly. The place. Exactly. So you just made a different compensation than what pe people typically do. <laughs> right. But it's still a compensation we don't that want. That is pretty cool though, because that that contact felt way. Yeah. Different. But you can see, like you know, that was 82 ball clubs to 114 ball speed. Like better efficiency. Totally. Right? Yeah. Okay. So hands ahead. Uh, lean my body a bit this way, but my hips this way. Yes, really get there. That's yep. okay there? Yep, yep. Good, really good. Really good there. Yeah, just a bit heavy, but a yep. good, like it felt like a good swing. Movement was really, really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so hands ahead. 
Upper body back, hips left. Yes, I love that. Really good, dude. I've definitely made the first and third shot since the um, change. Mm -hmm. I felt like I made much more solid, like I compressed the ball a bit more. Yes, I agree. And the interesting thing is, you don't look like you're doing more effort, but you're actually swinging way faster. Yeah, actually that's it is. That's 87 club speed. That's funny, because no, I, do, I don't feel like I'm doing anything different either. Totally. Is there something to, when you get yourself, because we were talking about compensations in the downswing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. If you are making compensations and trying to time something to save it, uh -huh. to some degree you slow down, no? Totally slow yeah. down. So at the end of the day, like, one thing people have to realize is that downswing is probably gonna be a reaction to how you make your backswing. Okay. So yes, we do have to consciously manipulate downswing changes initially. Right. But that's because your downswing has been a reaction to your old backswing. Yes. For you, for everyone else. And the backswing in some cases can be a reaction to a bad setup. Correct, yes. So it's kind of like chain reaction. Exactly, so that's why we always do set up backswing first. Yeah. It will positively influence the downswing. It's yes. not gonna completely change it, but at least it will give you a chance to actually react in a more proper way. Totally. No, it's making, I mean, it's pretty surprising how much difference that made. So I'm just gonna run through the checklist here again. So, okay. so hands slightly more forward. Yep. And so that there's a straight line from your lead shoulder to your hands to your club, which there is. Okay. Then you have the upper body lean away from the target a bit, and then you hip bump towards the target a bit. Perfect. Okay. Good. Yeah, feels pretty nice. Good, good. But the flight is so good, like the start lines are crazy right now, eh? I feel like I'm not whipping my hands across my body as much Correct. as before. Like I feel, a li I'm sure I'm still not in good sync, but it right. feels it's way better. better. Totally, Definitely. totally. So if you look at the numbers, right? Like we, we talked about when you first started, you were 78 club speed, uh, 105 ball speed, which is still pretty good. You mm. see like, since we talked about that change, 82, 84 and a half, 86 and a half, 82 and a half. And this was, you hit the ground first as well, this one. That's pretty Same cool. Same with the 84 and then 84 again. So now I'm seeing like, and honestly the 86.6 one, it's not like I felt like I swung super fast. It right. just felt like a really good um, totally. example of I like everything I think you just reacted in a better way. Yeah. And then, and coincidentally, that was probably one of the best contacts, 86 and a half gave you 116 and a half balls. Which I never sniffed last time. Totally. Right? Yeah, that's Crazy. really that's yeah. really quite interesting. So just so, subtle, subtle changes that address yes. not getting sloppy with hand position. Yes. Not getting sloppy with upper body ahead. Yes. This is obviously exaggerating. Totally. But yes. if people have but that this is kind a of a very look. typical uh, novice golfer setup. Starting like this. Exactly. So, or even if their hands are slightly more in front, their upper body was still in front of their lower body. So you see a lot of this and this kind of Correct. thing. Correct. So basically like if you stand straight, right? So if you stand straight face to face the camera, so you stand straight, your, your sternum is right on top of the middle of your pelvis, right? Or yes. Your belt buckle, right? Right. But what you were doing when you bent over and you gripped the club, you're basically like this equivalent yeah. basically. Yes. That's so the easiest this. way to see it just mm. by standing straight. That's the easiest to feel it. Gotcha. So this is really the final mm -hmm. position is here. Perfect. Yeah. And then from there you can just turn and turn from there. Awesome. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's, um, let's call that totally. a day on yeah, this, yeah. this lesson. Cause that, as I was saying to you just off camera, like I think that was more of a positive effect than I expected just mm. from like a fairly simple setup change. And now I feel like we'll be in a good position to move on to what you feel is kind of like the next step. In totally. This yeah. Yeah. In let's the next do it. Video. Yeah. This is a, honestly like this is a lot, like you said, yeah. more positive than I was anticipating. It does yeah. happen from time to time, but it's definitely not every single lesson no, has no. happened. So I don't want you guys to get the hopes up of this will guarantee you big changes, but it will be a positive change in the big picture. Definitely. And if you feel like your setup has gotten a little sloppy or someone hasn't been watching it, mm -hmm. it might be a place you're leaking swing speed. Totally. A uh, couple miles at the very least. Yeah. Totally. Okay. I love it. All right. More to come. Uh, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next see episode. See you guys later.